everybody up. Like, what's going on? What's going on? What's going on? Before we can open our eyes to look at what's happening, there was about three guys who were very weirdly dressed with like turbans, you know, tied around them, holding AK 47, shooting at the car. So obviously, it was the first shot that woke us up. And we're like, what's going on, what's going on? We don't even see anything, they shot again. Pop! Hey! And well, at this point, everybody went down. Take cover, this is crazy. The third shot hit the driver in the eye. And that was it. He passed. He went like he just died on the stairing. And obviously his foot was on the accelerator, so the car kept on going. But the car was bearing off to the side. And we could see there was a ditch, like a big ditch. And I mean, we just thought that was it. Everyone just sort of took cover and had that position. At that point in time, I think what was going through my mind was, this is it, this is the end. If I'm going to die, at least let me die in fine boy. <laughs> let me just cover my face. And then, we crashed. Glass everywhere, dust everywhere, blood everywhere. It was horrific. Probably my worst experience ever in my life. And um, everybody passed out. Like instantly, everybody was out, like out, out. And nobody was going on. But I, for some reason, I was the first to come back around. <laughs> I just felt like a knock on the glass. Come out, come out, come out, come out. And as soon as I go back to my senses, I felt like, oh, wow, we, okay, we were just in a crash. Somebody's trying to help us. We need to get out right now. So I opened the door and I got out. And the first thing the guy said to me was, where's the money? Hey. This is the end. No, 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 this is the end. You did not die in the accident, but you shoot us. What was remaining? Oh, what was going through my mind at that point in time was, okay, just beg for your life. Say, please, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Bro, there's no money, my brother, please, there's no money, there's no money. But it was crazy blood everywhere, dust everywhere, smoke everywhere. And these guys were still, they were still rubbing. So they were shooting in the air, and that's boom, 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 boom. So while we were by the car, we could hear, literally hear the gunshots flying through the leaves in, in the trees. Hey! I've never seen an actual fame. I've never seen anything like that in my life. But more like horror of him. Because I was afraid for my life. And then my guy, um, Femi Sora, the black guy, big shout out to Femi Sora and the pain, eh? <laughs> Femi Sora, maybe after like 30 minutes, okay, no, I'm exaggerating. <laughs> maybe after like 10 minutes, came back around, tried to come out of the car, then realized this leg was broken. This bone. And if you know, if you know your biology well, you will know that the femur is the strongest bone in the body. But this bone was broken on impact. And as he tried to step out of the car, he realized he couldn't step out. So he was lying flat on the floor. And the guy still went to him. Where is the money? Where is the money? Femur's already does they look the guy like, He didn't say one word. I, after everything, obviously, when we were safe, I asked him, what, why was it that you were just thinking? You didn't even say anything to that. He said, bro, I had given up, man. <laughs> like, no matter what I said to the guy, they were still kill us. So what was the point? It was, it was that crazy. And Aboki being the third person, he was in front. So I feel like he must have felt the impact the most. Later, later, later. I mean, like 20 minutes after, he crawled out the car, blood everywhere. Most of the blood from the driver, but you know, he just crawled out, you know, there was blood everywhere. We, we weren't even sure if he was still okay. But um, 
you know, he was he was fine. And um, these guys successfully robbed quite a few cars, and after some time, sorry. <laughs> This is my scarf from the house night. Some people who hacks me, is it tattoo? It's not tattoo. It's not a scarf from house night. Um, I mean, I think it reminds me. Yeah, it's a good friend. Good friend, though, as Christ was saying. But I think it reminds me that um, everything that happened on that day happened for a reason and it was for me to know that I wasn't supposed to die if like that wasn't the end that was for us to know that okay like regardless of everything that happened when it's not your time to go it's not your time to go and no matter what happens no matter what tries to deter you from your journey keep going keep moving it's, it's obviously it's gonna be a rough journey things are gonna be crazy but just keep moving. After like 30 minutes, those guys don't run finish, they don't go. Police call show. Oh, 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 what they did, what they did. I was so angry. You know, eventually they got us to the hospital, treated us. Femi had to have surgery on the vocal leg, but thank God we're here today. I mean, man, that's the most important thing. Yeah, thank you. Thank God we're here today.